still do a lot of work on it. Uh, it's but the pandemic is over. If you notice, no one's wearing masks. Everybody seems to be in pretty good shape. He was wearing a mask in public outside two weeks ago. Uh, the problem is the damage is already done from the virus as well as from the government's draconian overreaction and COVID measures. And there's still a lot of unanswered questions like where did COVID originate? Freedom of Information Act required that they release some emails. 
They released them, but they blanked them all out, except for the total amount of royalties. But it's not a small amount. 1,800 scientists received $193 million. But they won't tell us from which companies to which scientists. So my question is simply this. And it may not, there may be nobody on the committee that's received this money, but if they won't tell us, it makes us wonder. So on the vaccine committees, there's several committees that uh, approve uh, vaccines and then push forward these mandates. Is anybody on those committees receiving royalties from the two companies that make the vaccine, or three companies that make the vaccine? And if they are, they should be on the committee. The best way to think of this is, let's say your local school board is going to vote to buy new textbooks and one of the members of the school board owns the textbook company. Do you think anywhere in America that doesn't have to be divulged that that's a conflict of interest? So nobody would, you know, but nobody touches Fauci. We go after him on this and he says, we are not going to tell you we don't have to. Then he cites a law from 1980 that we're investigating the law and we will change the law if it's protecting him. But really what kind of bureaucrat, what kind of scientist comes forward and says, well, we're just not going to tell you because we don't have to. He and his wife make $850,000 a year working for the government, and we want to know if these scientists that are raking in that much money are also receiving royalties, and if they're receiving royalties from companies for which they are approving the drugs. That's a clear conflict of interest. Absolutely, and, and the ramifications in society.